morning and welcome back to Morning Markets from True Potential, Paul Duran's Investment Director. Now we start this morning by just looking back at last week at equity market returns. We saw strong gains from the US stock market. When we actually reflect on the month performance coming to the end of January now, the S&P 500 in the US up 6%, the more tech focused, the Nasdaq up 11%, really speaks to the importance of staying the course during times of uncertainty and where volatility is perhaps a little bit more elevated because stock markets can quickly turn and rally hard, which they have been doing since the start of the year. Equity market returns last week in Europe and in China were positive as well. They continue to benefit from improved economic outlook with China moving away from their zero COVID policies. And in Europe, they continue to benefit from declines in natural gas prices down 30% over the month. Also driving stock markets last week was just the improvements that we're seeing on corporate earnings where we had data or corporate results from Microsoft, Tesla and also credit card companies. There will also be a lot of corporate results coming out this week so please stay tuned for that. In terms of economic data we had more inflation data on Friday. We had the Federal Reserve's uh, most favoured measure known as uh, PCE inflation. That came in slightly above expectations over the month at 0.05%, just very marginally above expectations. When we look at year on year figure that came in at 5%. When we strip out the more volatile components such as food and energy that came in at 4.4% year on year. That's actually below the US Central Bank's projection, which was 4.8%. So continues to speak to the narrative that inflation is trending lower, and that's helping support investor sentiment on the positive side and help drive equity markets higher, which is good to see. In terms of that's really sets us up well for the week ahead. On Wednesday, we have the US Central Bank meeting where they'll decide the appropriate level of interest rates should be. The market's expecting interest rates to rise by 0.25% given the improvements that we've seen on the inflation front and that on the growth side, growth, while the data has been mixed, it is expected to continue to slow. Elsewhere, it's going to be a very busy day, a busy week. Uh, This week, in terms of economic data, central bank meetings, we'll hear from the Bank of England and the European Central Bank. They are expected to increase interest rates by 0.5%, given that inflation is much higher and uh, they are further behind on raising interest rates compared to the US. In terms of economic data, we'll get uh, the US labour market data which is really important for the Federal Reserve, who are looking to see some weakness in the US labour market to help ensure that inflation not only comes down, but comes down and and stays lower for longer. So Wednesday and Friday will be particularly important for that. We'll also get business sentiment data globally, and so we'll have plenty of data throughout the week. We'll keep you up to date, so please stay tuned. And that's everything from us today. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level, or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ISAs and pensions. These are available in the video description below.